or corruption. Now speaking at the 60th Jamuhuri Day celebrations, Ruto called on the judiciary and anti-corruption agencies to discharge their mandate without fear, favor, ill will or prejudice. Now the president has also assured that all taxes collected by the state shall be put to their intended use. Henry Tende files the following report. In his speech while overseeing his second Jamhuri Day celebrations at Huru Gardens, President William Ruto has defended high taxes levied on Kenyans, saying such is necessary to guarantee development in the country. President Ruto has however assured Kenyans their taxes will be accounted for, sounding a warning to corrupt officers that his government will deal with them mercilessly. All taxes collected by government shall be put to their intended use and that no Kenyan shilling shall be lost in embezzlement, theft or corruption. To ensure transparency in the way public funds are collected and administered, President Ruto now says all government payments will be centralized on one pay bill on the e-citizen platform and has urged all government parastatals and institutions to migrate their services to the e-citizen platform by latest 31st December this year. It is most important that we sustain this progress in promoting integrity, transparency, and efficiency in resource management. And for this reason, I direct that all agencies observe the December 31st deadline to finalize the migration to e-citizen platform. To guarantee success of the war on corruption, the head of state has instructed the judiciary, the police department and the ESEC to work in collaboration to ensure all corrupt officers are prosecuted. I urge our justice, law and order institutions led by the judiciary and the anti-corruption agencies to discharge their mandate without fear, favor ill will or prejudice. The president has also made a personal undertaking to offer unequivocal support to efforts directed towards fighting corruption. I also give my personal undertaking to support the timely prosecution of all those involved in corruption without regard to their social, economic, ethnic, political status or connection or any other consideration whatsoever. With this assurance, all eyes will now be fixed firmly on his administration to see whether he will live true to his undertaking of slaying corruption in his government. Henry Tende, Look Up TV. Yeah.